Hi and welcome to Always Sometimes Monsters. This is a game made by Vagabond Dog and it is published by Devolver D Digital who also published one of my favorite games, Hotline Miami. So I think this is gonna be in the same vein as Hotline Miami without the shooting or something. I actually know nothing about this game. Except that Cry is playing this at the moment, so I decided to leech off of him and definitely just copy him outright, so yeah, get mad. So yeah, okay, that's gonna be it. Uh, apparently this game has um, some graphic scenes or some morally ambiguous um, decision making, so if, if you feel that this might not be your thing, just don't watch it, so yeah. That's covered. So yeah, let's start this. And also, I'm I have my glasses on because I can't see for shit. So yeah, let's do this. New game. Here we go. Stop. Wait. Where the hell do you think you're running off without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. Whoa. You don't get, get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You check that privilege at the door when you sign up for this job. Here I make the rules, here I decide what happens. That's what you sign up for, right? I should uh, voice act that bit. Let's... Oh, I'm controlling this guy. Hey, wait! Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. Excuse me, sir. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond. Fuck, get the hell out of my way. Wow, that's... Yeah. We don't have anything for you. Oh. I he I've heard that one before. Probably from you too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. Hey, can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? God damn psycho, are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go th though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. Ooh, what the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead, I'll wait. Wow, that's weird. That's right, aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nutjob? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? I would like to play a game. What do you say to giving me mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it uh, if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story though. Uh, at the end of it, you can decide what to do. Hope you read that one because I skipped it. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. The choice is yours. This is like... Isn't this the plot of like Saw 3? I think it is. Or 2. 2 or 3. I'm not sure. The one where the kid's missing. Whatever. Or we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the cho choice is always yours. I'll listen to this guy. He seems fun. If you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. There are many roads between yours and mine. But all roads starts start from the source. 
Interesting. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But you wouldn't would but would you know the opportunity when it knocked? Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows it this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone substance, someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Oh, I'm controlling, aren't I? Yep. Come on, hurry up! Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave them to take leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, arti artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Bus wants me to sign someone by the next next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. We'll just pick someone pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. <laughs> well. Mm. Mm. You look like... Hey Larry! Congratulations on the new job! Thanks, it's been a long time coming. Well, well earned though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I wanted to polish off. Taking it easy tonight, only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice though. Fuck it, we'll take some gin. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Oh, dude, now I'm controlling someone else. This is cool, actually. Who am I supposed to talk to? You? Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. Oh, crap! I could have picked anyone. Okay, whatever. Uh, he's waiting on us. We gotta go, though. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast that battle whip, Rat. That's amazing! What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam are working on. Oh, we're working on a book? Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kinda pissed if it was left out of the no- Fuck. You know. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up... Well... Now you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit! We forgot to sign the card! Here. Give it to me, I'll sign it first. <gasps> oh yeah! Perfect. Butter snips. I. I I can't. I don't have the creativity to make make up two names. Come on, man. Uh, freaking. I don't know. Um, this is what happens when you give me too much creativity while I'm playing. This is like every Zelda game for me. Literally every Zelda game. You're truly butter snips and slut McGee. <sighs> Sounds perfect. All right, slut McGee, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Absolutely. Good luck. <laughs> Always, sometimes, monsters. Uh, I'm not sure how long every part is gonna be. 
So Larry, before we toast, let me guess, you've got a book you wanted me to pitch? Just hear me out. No need butter snips. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss. See if we can get you an advance. That th that's crazy. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. This chick wants to drink. To ambition. To success. To getting rich. <laughs> to world domination. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually cool. It really didn't matter who set the things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. The version of the story needed a hero though. Would this be the one? Yeah? I don't know. One year later. Dubstone apartment. Oh my god, it's on my glasses. <sighs> Choices and evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstances di dictates uh, the evaluation. Consequences takes takes care of the rest. What the fuck is going on? In the system, there can be no wrong and right. So I think we're playing. What time did I get in last night? Shit! Looks like my pebble sleep monitor got reset. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month Carcadian master sleep achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. Am I supposed to do something? There we go, all set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Or with, you know, the game. Nice, I've still got some pizza pouches left. Okay, I'm not gonna eat those. I don't need to eat. Charles the murder. That's not punk. Okay. Why do? You, oh God. That. It says Xbox Live. I'm not sure if that's a reference or something, but. Turn off the lamp. Yeah. Whoa! It got dark. Okay, whatever, I'm just gonna fuck off. Looks like there's a few notices on my room. Ugh, you know. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a, as a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately or you will be evicted at the, at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion it will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with building management as soon as possible to avoid further nonsense. Sincerely, management. 30 days override, pay up, deadbeat. <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? Uh, came to see you if you wanted to get coffee. Bit work of the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I watch for you and you and my manager uh, hates slackers. Dark F. Well, at least I've got a job for the day. You grabbed your apartment key. You grabbed your bank card. Right then. <laughs> oh yeah! 
Hey, that's good. That's great. That's great. You should definitely do that shit. Okay, they're doing it again. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Come on. Come on. We've seen this shit. We've seen enough. <laughs> Interesting. Where is it? I don't know. It's in here. Excuse me, Miss... Mrs. Tevilanger. Oh, pardon me, Buttersnips. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There is never enough time in the day, you know. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I'm seriously thinking I'm done for this time. Where's your roommate? Things uh didn't work out. It's just me now. Oh man, that's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Thank you. Thank you for the awful offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long though. Or I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Buttersnips. I hope you find what you need. Oh, what a nice lady. Cheap ass landlord. That life's been a problem for months. You found Indie Heroes figure 24, Sorcerer, Delver's Drop. I guess that's a game, but I don't know that. Oh, whatever. Those are pretty unremarkable plastic flowers. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With the lights off, I might be able to slip out of here undetected. Nope. Hold it, you mangy punk! You really think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap on clap off thing installed last week. <sighs> just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rate rent and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you going to pay me what you owe or am I going to have to toss your ass out to the curb? You're so serious about me evicting me, huh? Don't worry about it. Fuck off. Don't worry about it, man. You, you know I'm good for it. I'm expecting a check from my publisher real soon. It's even probably already here. Just re So just relax. Look, the check's going to be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Just give me until the, when the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you gotta... Got to get some greasy business meant to eat sushi off your body. What the fuck? You're out of time, little China girl. Whoa, you're a racist. Fuck. Holy shit, I just saw a car through my camera. Okay, whatever. Pay me 500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand me over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Are you going to give me the key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? Uh, run away. Screw you, man. You're not getting my key. What are you going to do, Deadbeat? Just run away from all your problems? How's that been working out for you? I'm out. I don't need this shit. You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. Mm. Rex Dubstown. Achievement unlocked. Nothing left to lose. Hey, Buttersnips. What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hanging around as, like usual, I see. As I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. That dick of a landlord wants me... Wants five hundred dollars for my rent. He even wanted me to hand over my key. I said screw it and ran out of, 
out on him though. Dang, that sucks, girl. Well, I'm broke, so I can help you with a cash. I did find this rare indie heroes figure in the trash this morning. Trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. Oh God, that's horrible. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try and get it all 60 of them like me. Bellinger gave you a jolly murder. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like, like the back of my red golf shirt. <laughs> okay. What's this? There's a lot to do right now. Probably no good time to sleep. Oh god, don't sleep on the street. That's horrible. Oh, this is like full on Pokemon right now. Hey girl, you admiring my ride? Yeah, it's pretty sweet track if you if I do say so myself. Maybe we could take it for a spin together sometime. No, <laughs> fuck no. Yo, hit me up later. I gotta go, man. Yo. Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Dance Popcorn Stand where I sell fresh popcorn and not absolutely nothing else. Oh, sure, popcorn. Know the popcorn trick? So you have ever heard of the popcorn trick? It's where you take a bag of popcorn and cut a hole. Whoa, the popcorn trick? Let me stop you right there. Dirty Don invented the popcorn trick. In fact, it used to be called the Dirty Don Maneuver. What happened? Why the name change? Man, it's a long story. Let's just say there was a year-long legal battle with the Dirty Sanders guy, so I was forced to remain rename it to popcorn trick well if you think about it the name actually makes more sense now yeah I guess you're right thanks kid you made my day no problem anything for a 420 guy I guess where am I supposed to go here what the fuck is this welcome to daily news times I can only help you if you have an appointment uh, that might be a problem then. I'm really sorry about that, but those are the rules. If I let you back there, I would without an appointment, I could get fired. Sorry to bother you. Okay, let's fuck off then. So, um, I could go make some money, you know. Oh, man, I was supposed to meet someone here, right? I think I was. Dude, did you see the crazy guy pacing outside? He's like, he's here like every day. We should put him in the game. Oh my god, these are the developers, aren't they? Invest in a sandwich. Dude, we're here every day. We should put ourselves in the game. Whoa, meta. Oh my god, that's awesome. That is so awesome! Those are the developers, actually. Because that guy has a Captasis VD, which is um, Vagabond Dog, isn't it? That is awesome! I like that! I like that a lot! Hey there! We just put a fresh pot on! Can I get you coughing or something else? Remember, every cup's got a chance to win a prize! Yeah. Wow, this is a actually pretty awesome! Wait a minute, should I talk to the pacing guy? Hi there. Hey there, pretty lady. Got a second to invest in a sandwich? I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eaten in at least six days. Oh man, that's bad. Sorry, no. Guys, I need the money. I need the money, dude. I need the money. Cookie factory. Oh god, that's creepy. Get lost. That is... This is not the cookie factory, I can say that. From just that experience, this is not the cookie factory. God damn, dude. Where am I supposed to go here? Like, I don't... I generally don't know. Is there a... I could, I could save? 
save there. So, cool. Mm. This is the hottest club in town. I've been lined up all day long. It's like day, seriously. I'm not moving for anything. Hey, cutie. Ooh, you look like a girl with a cute taste. What do you think of my new dress? It cost me a fortune, but I think it's hot. It actually is. It actually brings out your... <clears throat> um, self-esteem. Yeah, looks great. Definitely worth the money on a body like that. Oh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So, um, I was looking for someone to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Well, that depends on what you need. Sex, sex, sex. Oh, you know the dirty down over by the pawn shop? I heard he's got these tabs. Happy pills, I think he calls them. That makes you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex. With God. <laughs> it sounds intense. If I give you 50, we'll... Could you go pick some up for me? I know it's silly, but I don't want to lose my place in the line. Deal. Alright, deal. How many pills should I ask for? That should be... That should buy you 10. So bring them all back. I might even share with you. If we party later. Nice. Sounds easy. I'll be right back. Wait, there's one more thing. Don's got some trust issues. You're gonna need this. Haley gave you a sealed envelope. Uh, what's that? It's just a little message from me to him. You know, to prove you're cool and not a cop and all. Yeah, you're right. Well, obviously. Keep it sealed until you see him or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff. Gotcha. You have fun waiting in the line. I have a feeling I might get fucked here. Is that just me? Wait. Where was the dawn anyway? God damn it! Oh man, um, what's this? Oh! Dirty down. Uh, you saw anything else? Uh, you saw anything? Yeah. I've got this anvil or something from this girl I'm supposed to sing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it. It says. Well, go on, read it. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with a itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Whoa, buddy, that's enough. You don't have to sing the rest of the song. I know why you're here now. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, all my orders come from come as hip hop. <laughs> Helps keep off the cops from figuring things out. That sounds like you need some happy pills. That is awesome! That is awesome! Now, what's a girl like you need happy pills for? They're for a friend. I need 50 worth of them pronto. No problem, Adele. I was just thinking though, how would you like to save 30 bucks? Same number of pills and everything. That math doesn't add up, what's the catch? Wait. Wait, movie recording has been stopped automatically. Let's turn that back on. Oh, we're back. Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local artisan pills. They're made from eco-friendly toxins. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all that safe for human consumption. Yes, I, but I said eco-friendly. It totally balances things out. Well, I guess that makes sense. So what'll be, loyal patron? Spend 50 and get what you ask for, or spend 20 and save wells. Give me the good stuff. I'll take the good stuff. I don't know how my friend feels about whales. Well, to each their own, I suppose. I'm all out of product at the moment. I might have some later, though. Don't be a stranger. That's cool. That's cool. I don't... I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna fuck me over or something. So, did you get this stuff yet, honey? I went to try out a happy pill before the show. Yeah, I got your, you the good stuff. You're going to be tripping balls for sure. You gave Haley the happy pills. 
Whoa, I feel all warm and fuzzy. I just want to touch you all over. Yes. Yes. Why didn't you take the spare key to my flat? Maybe you could get up to something after the show. <gasps> I'm just across the street, so you can't miss it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Don't keep me waiting, though. I want to tear you into you. Rawr! <laughs> you you received Haley's key for a next door. Let's fucking let's see what. Which one's Haley? But why is someone sleeping in her? I don't know. Who is a dead bald on? That's weird. Sometimes I wonder if my anger is masking any inner human failings. Then I look at you, and it reminds me why I hate this world so goddamn much. Great sucking to you, guy. Okay, uh, I've been recording now like 32 minutes. I'll probably cut here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Bye shroomies!